This is Into Math for Second Grade, Module 14, Lesson 2. We are going to start at page 338, Use Equations to Represent Addition and Subtraction Situations. I can use equations to represent and solve addition and subtraction word problems. So please gather your workbook and a pencil and turn to page 338. We will start under Build Understanding. Andrea jumps rope 14 times. Alyssa jumps six fewer times than Andrea. How many times does Alyssa jump rope? Looking at part A, complete the bar model to represent this compare problem. So first we have the 14 jumps that Andrea makes. And here we have the six fewer times that Alyssa jumps from Andrea. So we have the total amount of jumps, the amount less than Andrea jumps to find what Alyssa jumps right here. So to complete the bar graph, we are going to start at the number six and count on to 14. So we have six and then we count 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and that's where we stop. So we have a difference of 8. So we will write in 8. Now we'll take a look at part B. Complete the equation to model the problem. So we don't know how many jumps Alyssa makes. That's what we're trying to find out. How many times does Alyssa jump rope? But we do know the total amount of jumps Andrea makes, which is 14. So we'll write that here, 14. And then we know that six fewer um, times, Alyssa jumps six fewer times than Andrea. So we're going to take away six. And when we take away 14, take away six, we get the answer of eight. So we have solved this problem. We can answer Alyssa jumps rope, and then we're gonna write the number here, eight times. Our next problem says that Colin has 13 craft sticks. Colin has nine more craft sticks than Mary. How many craft sticks does Mary have? Okay, we will look at part A. Complete the bar model to represent this compare problem. Here we have the total number of craft sticks, which we were told that Colin has. And then we learn that Colin has nine more craft sticks than Mary. So we have the nine more that Colin has. And this section right here represents the stick, the craft sticks that Mary has, because we know that Colin has nine more than what Mary has. So we need to complete this bar model. So we're gonna start with the number nine and we're gonna count on till we reach 13. We have nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. That was four more to make 13. Now we take a look at part B, complete the equation to model the problem. So this is the amount that Mary amount of craft sticks that Mary has. And we start with the total amount of craft sticks that Colin has, which is 13. And then we're going to take away the amount that we know Colin has more of to find what Mary has. So we're going to take away nine. And when we have the subtraction equation, 13 take away nine, we find that what's left over is four. So we have solved this problem. How many craft sticks does Mary have? Mary has four craft sticks. Nice work. Let's take a look at the next page, page 339. Jose has some baseball cards. He gives eight cards to Elena. Now Jose has nine baseball cards. How many baseball cards did Jose have to start? Okay, let's take a look at part A. 
complete the bar model to represent this take from problem. All right, so first we know that Jose gives eight cards to Elena. So we have an eight right here. And then Jose has nine baseball cards. So he has nine cards after he gives the eight cards to Elena. So now that we have what he gave and what he has, we are looking for the total number of cards that he had to start. So we need to add eight and nine together. If you need to pause to solve this, you can do so. And when we put eight and nine together, we will get the answer of 17. Now let's take a look at part B. Model the problem with an equation. Use a box for the unknown number. So we are going to start with the unknown. We did not know how many cards Jose had to start with, but we do know that from that number that he had to begin with, he gave eight away because that's what the word problem told us and that's what we uh, used in our bar model. So we took eight away and when we took eight away, we knew that he had nine baseball cards left and that's what we have here. So our equation is the unknown number, take away eight, left us equal to nine cards. Now we're going to write and solve your equation. So here we have the total that we found from our bar model. So we can write that in 17 take away eight equals nine. So we can solve this by saying Jose had blank baseball cards to start and we know that he had 17 baseball cards to start. Okay, our next word problem said that some horses are in the field. Then eight more horses come to the field. Now there are 11 horses in the field. How many horses are in the field to start? We're gonna look at part A. Complete the bar model to represent this add to problem. So we know at the end, now there are 11 horses in the field. So we're going to put that total number of horses here, 11. And what did it say in the beginning? Eight more horses come to the field. So let's go ahead and write in eight here. So what we need to know is eight plus what will make 11? So we can count on, we start with eight and we count on until we reach 11. So eight's where we start, we count nine, 10, 11. That was three. So eight and three make 11. Now we're going to model the problem with an equation. Use the box for the unknown number. Okay, so it said we started with some horses in the field, so that's gonna be our unknown number. Here's our unknown. Then eight more horses come to the field. So now we're going to add the eight horses, and at the end, now there are 11 horses in the field. So at the end, there's going to be 11 horses at the field, the total. Now we are going to write and solve your equation. So using our bar model, we found that three and eight make 11. So our unknown number was three. So we're going to write that three plus eight equals 11. And that means we've solved the question, how many horses were in the field to start? There were three horses in the field to start. Nice work. 
Let's look at the next page, page 340. Choi slides 15 times. Mia slides seven fewer times than Choi. How many times does Mia slide? We are going to complete the bar model to represent this problem. Here we have the total amount that Choi slides, and we know that Mia slides seven fewer times. So here's that seven fewer times. So we are going to start with seven, and we're gonna count on to 15. So we have seven, and then we count on eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So eight is the difference between seven to get to the total number 15. Now we're going to look at part B. Model this compare problem with an equation. Use the square for, un, for the unknown number. Think, the unknown number holds the place of the number that is unknown. So we are trying to find out how many times does Mia slide? What is this unknown number? So we are going to draw the box here as the unknown number. Then we know that the amount of times that uh, Choi slides was 15, so we're gonna write that here. And then we needed to take away seven in order to find out what the unknown number would be. So we are going to write seven in this spot. All right, now we can solve this problem. That 15 take away seven is going to give us this number here, eight. So we can write, how many times does Mia slide? She slides eight times. Now let's check for understanding. Complete the bar model. Write an equation with a square for the unknown number. Write and solve your equation. So you may want to pause and try these two problems on your own and come back to check your answer, or you can follow along. Thomas has nine books. Thomas has four fewer books than Jody. How many books does Jody have? So we know that Thomas has nine books. He has four fewer than Jody. So what we don't know is how many books does Jody have? So that's our unknown number. So we can use this bar model to add nine and four together. And when we add nine and four together, we get the number 13. So what we created for our equation was the number of books that Jody has is four less than what Thomas had, which was nine. So when we solve this, we find that 13 take away four equals nine. And how many books um, does Jody have? She has 13 books. Let's take a look at number two. Amina has 12 apple slices. Cairo has seven fewer apple slices than Amina. How many apple slices does Cairo have? Okay, so we know that Amina has 12 apple slices. And we know that Cairo has seven fewer apple slices. So we're gonna put that seven here as the seven fewer. And then we're going to complete this bar model. So we have seven, we want to end at 12 as the whole number here that we want to get to. So we start seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. That was a difference of five. So we can write our equation that we had 12 and we took away seven to find the unknown. And when we solved this problem using our bar graph, we found that 12 take away seven equals five. So we were able to solve this problem how many apple slices does Cairo have? He has five apple slices. Great work. If you would like to go back and rewatch this video, you may do so, and you can pause anytime as needed.